Hey friend, so recently I just got back into playing Ranked and Undisputed, and believe me, it's not what I expected. Let's get to it. The full moon, we are outside live at Empire Fight King. Hey everyone, so this is a pre-recorded game so that I can give out a better commentary on those who are watching. So tonight I'm playing as Sugar Ray Robinson just to test how the status of the game is at rank at the moment. It's been some time since I've played rank due to, you know, a lot of cheaters. So these are two games back to back. So this is an absolute treat for those who are watching. Yeah, that was a power straight to the body. First round uh, knockdown. I'm playing against a uh, gamer tag named Prime Level. He has 14 wins and 14 losses. That was a quick one. Using my diagonal dodges just to get out of the, the range of his jab. As you know, Crawford has a, a good jab. And the thing is, he can also fight with uh, both hands at the lead. Just like uh, Tyson Fury in the previous video. So he, he, he can like uh, switch stances. But apparently my opponent is not making use of that feature. I mean, he's not switching stances, he's just sticking to the orthodox. Trying to make him miss his body shots. Like as soon as I as I uh, fire out one or two shots, I, I move back. You see, my opponent's really missing a lot of uh, punches thrown. Yeah. He, he, he was a bit stationary at that one. So the thing is with Crawford or when, when, when fighting against uh, Sugar Ray Robinson, you need to be really moving around. You can't be flat-footed because um, as fast as his hands are, he can also move around the ring easily without sacrificing any power or speed on his punches. As you can see, he's trying to block my punches. That is failing. That was a good right hook to the head. Rocked him. Yep. Left and right uppercuts the body for the second knockdown. Gets right back up. At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. Some fighters, when this happens, this can be heartbreaking. Some so it's quite surprising for Crawford to be knocked down twice, especially in the first and second rounds. It seems like uh, this player is still uh, quite a newbie because normally Crawford doesn't really, um, if you play him well, he won't really gas out until the 6th or 7th round. So rocked him again this time. Really peppering those punches to the body. Just to take out his stamina. All right, going into round three. So what's your prediction? What round will I knock him out? Yeah, I'm just altering my headshots and body shots. Making sure that he's confused. There you go. Right hook to the head to knock his wits out. 
showboating a little bit. Yeah. So he's not getting up from this one. I knocked him out cold. So good game, prime level. Many people would have predicted it, but we got a knockout victory. Accuracy, power, punch, perfect. That must hurt. Yeah, winning both rounds. Uh, Seventy-four percent uh, punch thrown versus landed. That's quite high. Alright, so this next match is again against Terence Crawford, but I'm fighting against uh, Vega Timothy 8. He has 18 wins and 15 losses. Starting off in the same arena as earlier. Again, this is my second ranked game for quite a while now. He gets in a couple of jabs to my face, interrupting my combination. You don't want to trade shots. Again, I slipped his, uh, his jab and uh, I immediately went to the body. Making sure that, uh, you know, he, he suffers that miss. Yeah, making him miss the jabs and the straights. I see that he's planting his feet again before punching, not really moving. Trading punches, trading body blows with him. Yeah, and, and by this time I'm just like moving around the ring. Uh, just making him miss, tiring him out, you know, baiting him into throwing a lot of punches without hitting. Make sure you weave as well. He threw the hook, didn't land. Utilizing the step back for when I know if he's throwing a power straight or a power jab, I immediately step back just to anticipate any power shots that he's throwing when I'm approaching him. Yep, no swelling, 93 health and 92 stamina. Not bad. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough flush. All right, so just some bits about Terrence Crawford. In August 2017, Crawford had a short reign as the undisputed light welterweight champion, being the first since Costa Ju in 2004 and the first in any weight class to simultaneously hold all four major world titles since Jermaine Taylor in 2005. In July 2023, he became the first male two-division undisputed champion of the four belt era after defeating Errol Spence Jr. As of August 2023, Crawford is ranked as the world's best active boxer pound for pound. Crawford was named Fighter of the Year by the Boxing Writers Association of America in 2014 and by ESPN in 2014 and 2017. Wow. That's a good resume for Terrence Bud Crawford. Okay, back to the fight. Um, I'm trading a bit with him in round two. Yeah. Trading some punches. Going high while he's going low. Still peppering his body. Make sure he, uh, his stamina gets depleted. Nice. Nice slip. There you go. 
a nice left hook by Trigger Ray. Okay, that last one was like a power straight, a stiff, uh, stiff jab to the body. A little bit of swelling on the end. If you see Crawford, he's already cut on his left eyebrow. So my hooks are really getting in. Doing the damage. Okay, so when Crawford was young, he took up boxing at the age of seven and fought 70 official amateur bouts and only losing 12 times. As an amateur, he defeated future world champions Mikey Garcia and Danny Garcia. After winning three amateur tournaments shortly before the 2008 Olympics, he became the highest ranked lightweight in the US. However, his loss to leading contender Saddam Ali thwarted his Olympic ambitions. Yeah, that's uh, Crawford's uh, bit of history for you. For those who are interested in some history. Boxing. So this is round three. I'm just trying to make those uh, punches count. He's controlling the center of the ring, as you can see, making sure that I don't have any points of escape. That, that won't deter Sugar Ray. I noticed that uh, a lot of uh, players like to choose uh, Terrence Crawford or um, Sugar Ray or Canelo. The swell is uh, gone. Crawford's still bleeding from his left eye. And I'm winning two rounds out of three. 29, 28. Again, uh, my opponent's controlling the middle of the ring. I, I get the upper hand here and the, and the ring control. I'm, I'm, I'm still fighting defensive because I know uh, how much damage uh, Terrence Crawford can do with those punches. Making a miss, defeating stamina. Triple uppercut to the head, man. And then finishing off with an uppercut, left uppercut to the body. Yeah, I don't think that's realistic though. Um, I noticed uh, some, some players do that. Triple uppercuts or uh, consecutive uh, spamming punches on the side. I try to avoid doing that. Sometimes it happens. Oh, left hook to the head, which had his mouthpiece flying out. Yep, he surrendered. <laughs> So that's it for tonight, folks. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you hit that thumb button if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you still haven't done so. So yeah, I won this one. Until next time, this is Ale and Adventure signing off.